Welcome to the Aftermarket Report with Vegas and Jim. Today's date is 5-16-2019, and Miss Vegas is going to give us our watch list. Yeah, so good afternoon, everyone. Hope you had a great trading day for a Monday. We're going to talk about the SPY, IDRA, TEUM, QUMU, OTC stock, ALEAF, and last but not least, we're going to talk about McDonald's. So let's get started here. So the SPY, you know, I just want to say, uh, obviously, everybody was uh, very concerned about the message that was sent out on social media about uh, Donald Trump, uh, you know, imposing higher tariffs on China, which really shook the bulls who expected a trade deal to hopefully come quick. And analysts say the odds are still in favor for a resolution between Washington and Beijing. Um, however, you know, the SPY was a little bit tricky this morning. But again, this morning, based on everything I was seeing, I was bullish on the SPY just for the, you know, for that moment and to see how it was going to trade for the day. Um, so we did actually pick up some SPY calls this morning. Uh, we had a really good, good entry. And uh, I want to talk about that entry. So uh, we did have a SPY call this morning. We took the 292 call and we took the one that's going to expire on May 10. I didn't really want to get one that expires today or tomorrow. Uh, because I didn't want to have to be under pressure to have to get rid of the option call that fast. So we took the spy call, and uh, the one that we took today was at 78 cents. So people were able to pick up the spy call for the 292 strike, and we picked it up at 78 cents. And uh, my goodness, it had a nice run. Now, we did say when I was watching the tape today, I did say um that i was going to look to hold this until at least 12 o'clock and i kind of picked 12 o'clock because i kind of figured between the morning up to 10 o'clock uh 12 o'clock we should sort of know how the spy is going to behave and you know what it was actually not bad like i mean if i look at the morning and the spy had a bit of a pullback this morning but then it started to turn around and uh started showing me some um you know some consolidation and it looked like definitely that the spy was on its move and then i said to the group you know what let's wait until 12 hold it until 12 and then we'll take a look at it then and it was still looking pretty strong after that so we held it through for most of the day and uh we had a good day it went all the way up to 265. so now after hours we see it at 291.35 so it has pulled back and jim i'll turn it over to you to talk about that yeah, this the spy chart on the daily, and it did take a sharp hum on the beater here, right down to about 287.95 on the Trump tweet. And then, you know, I'm pretty confident. I was bullish on the spy Friday, and I still am. We have a great economy, but we're connected to the world. So when talk like that goes on, it's going to dip on you and then run on algorithms. And she bounced right up back to the resistance that I called Vegas called one up around here somewhere also and I mentioned that 293.27 was my last resistance before we had that huge breakout Friday and I'm going to pull up the 20 day chart real fast I've been calling this trade right around the 290 291 right in here last week a couple weeks ago and that's been my solid support kind of like a pivot point and that's about where we are right now at that 291 35 here I have a 291.10 support and you can see we did pull back pretty hard on that to some previous lows that we had 20 days ago so that was a good call by Miss Vegas today it did run up hit that 294 right before close and bounced and pulled back and consolidated right there at that little area that I would call a pivot point on a 20 day chart the next one we're going to talk about is going to be IDRA yeah well you know what idra hooray that was a really nice trade today i gotta tell you you know you don't always know what the market's gonna give you and you just gotta trade what shows up so i wasn't gonna listen to all the noise out there i figured let me just see what's gonna come and to you know let the trade you know what they say let the trade come to you well you know what idra certainly did come to me so um, you know, IDRA, you know, we traded it last week as well during the day. We had some good fun with it. You know, IDRA is in the healthcare biotech sector. We've talked about IDRA Pharmaceutical. Um, you can take a look at what they do. But they really look at treatments for patients with cancer. 
and that's really what their area of focus is. And they look at cancers and very rare diseases. So if you take a look at this one here in particular, an IDRA, um, I actually called that trade uh, this morning. And uh, the reason I called this one is when I was looking at the, the chart, I actually did spot um, that there looked like to be an expansion breakout. And it looked to me that the stock was going to actually move uh, a lot higher than where it was at uh, at that time. And I did actually tell the room, and Jim could show you the screenshot here if Jim can show that to you. I gave the trade idea alert this morning at um, just, shy, just shortly after the open. But I did mention to the room, uh, specifically at 9.58 in the morning, uh, that IDRA, I'm going to hold it for the expansion break. I said this has got a very nice setup and play, and the trade was already active. So the idea for entry was at 379. I gave the resistance to go to 393, and that was kind of really my target, 393 to $4. And then I'd have to revisit and see what happens once that trade actually made the move. So it was a very nice call, moved beautifully, went all the way to 419. And, you know, I was hoping that it would have maybe broken 425, 426. And the reason is kind of that's really a hard resistance. And that's kind of where it kind of stalled last time it ran. So I really was hoping it was going to break that and take us to a new level. But it didn't do that. Today. It has pulled back. We're still holding up here support, though, at, uh, you know, kind of the $4 range. We're kind of trading around 398 to $4 still. So I still like this trade. I still like the chart. Um, so if you're not in the chart and you're not in the trade, I mean, not in the trade, <laughs> if you're not in the trade, um, then definitely add this to your watch list because um, this could actually still have a continuation tomorrow. Um, I think it's got very good uh, technicals all set up here. And uh, I'm looking, I'm still liking it. So, you know, as long as it actually still holds, I don't know, I guess, you know, around 380, then I still like this chart. Um, so I would love to see this go past the 425, 426. Then we'll see 449. If that breaks, we could see 502. So I'll turn it over to Jim there and talk to us about that. But I'm really liking this weekly. And I think we're on a new uptrend with this chart. So, Jim, over to you. Well, here's your year chart right here. We did have a year high of 1712, and she has pulled back to a yearly low just a couple weeks ago at 225. And we did pass this little hump right here. And this was very important today that we did break that 381, 385 area. And we did rise above it. So I'm going to post up the 20-day chart now. And we're going to look at the 20-day. It was very important that we did break that little hump there, 381, 385, which would have been a double top yesterday. So we're, now we're into the gap, start into the gap that we had before. I'll pull it up on the year chart one more time and have a look at it. And that will be this big gap pull right here from from uh, 394 all the way up to 6 bucks. And you see that that's a little pivot point right here at 550 little support level right in there so I'm going to call that the pivot point on the yearly chart and we're going to start filling that gap up a little bit so go back to the 20 day real fast the two resistances we got to hit next we got to break out of this resistance today looks like we've got a little oh I don't know ascending flag pattern in a way right here at 397 and we have to break that 417 we break that which we did have a high of 419 today we're going to bring it up to 434. And right now, it looked like the vortex indicator is looking good. It's on the way up. Kind of looks like a little roach clip right there when you're a little, some kind of mechanism that squeezes wires together. But this is the new uh, study that I'm doing this week in the room. So please stop in by the room and we offer a two week free trial. And the next one we're going to, well, let me call you the support level. The support level is going to be right here at 346. That's going to be your low support. Your second one's going to be right here at 363 with your first support in this area that I called the breakout at at 381 to 385 and we got to break the two resistances up here at 417 to 434 and that is IDRA and the next one we're going to talk about is what we called on our aftermarket report on Sunday TEUM I called for a pullback and we'll see if Miss Vegas has anything to say about this trade before I get on with the chart yeah so you know what guys so if you were listening to the video yesterday i mean i did really say yesterday in the video that you know listening to the videos you know we make it to help the viewers 
Um, you know, and I did say listening to the video is in a way sometimes free money because if you have a full time job and you listen to the videos, you would know that T E U M I said was a really bullish setup looking for continuation and a beautiful chart and a beautiful swing trade. And Jim talked about all the different resistance levels. He talked about 490, 501, 510, 522, and then next potentially 593. Well, you know what? We opened up today at 464. It had pulled back from the close on Friday at 480. So that was still a very good spot to get in. It actually went as low as 455. But let me tell you, this one is high as 525. So it did break Jim's resistance there, 522. Still holding support. I will tell you why I still like the chart. And then I'm going to turn it over to Jim to talk about what he sees next. I still like the chart because I noticed today that it also made a pocket pivot. And I've told you guys that I really love pocket pivot setups. And a pocket pivot is also, you know, you kind of got to think of it of like a footprint on the chart where it kind of shows you how the stock closed up. The volume for that day is higher than any volume on a down day in the last 10 days. And look at that volume today. I mean, we had today 7.89 million shares traded. And you know what? This thing is still holding up after hours. Now, if you guys look at the volume and you take a look at the number of shares traded, you know that what I'm saying is correct. Go back 10 trading sessions and you'll see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So if you even go back as far as April 22nd or even up to April 15th, up to today, we had the highest number of shares traded today. So again, this is a pocket pivot. And so I am looking for a continuation on the stock. To me, this is not finished and I'm looking for this to go. Now, the other thing too is it does have earnings coming up. So please keep that in mind. And, um, you know, they are into the telecom services and we did explain that yesterday, but they do definitely have um, their earnings report coming soon. And I thought it was going to be, uh, let's see here. It says here that uh, they were going to do a webcast May 1st. Is the earnings over? I don't think it's over. Uh, you know what, Jim, why don't you talk about the chart and let me look at that part in a sec. I don't think it's an, I don't think it's uh, had the earnings yet. Yes, T-E-U-M. We, yeah. At the resistance close last night, it was right around 480. And I discussed in the report that we'd pull back to maybe this possible trend line. And I'll pull up the 20-day chart to show you what I'm talking about. I've developed a little uh, diagram here where we had an upward trend going up for the last two weeks. And I said low support is going to be right around this four, this area right in here, right around the 450 area. And right when I saw that hit this morning, pre-market, I alerted the room. And I said this is going to be a strong buy on this trend line. And that's where we hit. We hit that bottom trend line. As you can see, we had a low here and a low here and a low there and a low everywhere. And she landed right on that trend line and bounced up above it today and broke out of that channel. So we've got a new resistance we're working on. And the support level that we're going to call now is going to be here at 510, maybe at the pivot point area right down here at around 485. So that's going to be your low support at 485 on a pullback. We could have the same thing happen again. It does pull back a little bit about every trading day and then bounces back up and creates new highs. But this was a great call on the Sunday report. If, if you caught on to it, you would have got in down there and bounced her on up, up to at least this 510 area. But I said we're going to go to 522, and I said that on the report. That was my final resistance. We have a new resistance now we got a break, and that's going to be the 539. And I'm still bullish on this trade, but it might consolidate a little bit and pull back to the previous high that we had after hours, which was at 485. So 4085 is going to be your new low support. Mark that on, on paper, and then we got to break the resistance here at 522. And that's T-E-U-M. Next one we're going to talk about is another one we mentioned on the Aftermarket Report Sunday. Q-U-M-U. -U. Yeah, so you know what? Did anyone trade Q-U-M-U? -U? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I wish I could talk to you guys on YouTube because I really would love to hear if you guys are trading anything we even talk about. Um, you know, so Q-U-M-U, -U, you know, this one had a nice run today as well. And you know what? Uh, nice. This was also mentioned in the, in the report. Now, this one here, 
you know, did open, um, had the previous close of 460. It didn't really run as, as high as I was hoping, but that's because there's just not enough volume still. Um, however, you know what? QUMU is one you should still be watching um, because to me, the stock's still bullish, still like the weekly chart. And, um, you know, at this point, I think it's still worth holding. Um, so I still like the stock, still like the chart. Uh, if you want to go over those numbers again, Jim, uh, that would be great for QUMU. This is another one that I called perfectly in the aftermarket report for a pullback. You see this little blue channel that we, I did up on Sunday? I said, we're going to come down and we're going to hit, because we had that big expansion breakout bar right there. And I said, this thing's going to pull back to support level, which was right in this channel right here, the, the four, 417 to 424. And that was my low support level at that 424 area. So if you'd have got in this trade right around at that call that I made for support, it did hit it first thing this morning. Bounced up to a high of right around 443 and pulled back right back to that support again at 417. And in the last four hours of the trading day, it ran up to that 450. So I'm going to pull this up to a daily, or at least I'm going to pull it up. I think that you'll see it on the daily, three minute. This was the support level that I called Sunday. We did pull back right to it. We were up here at a high at 560, so that was a good 50 cent drop, 43 cent drop. And then when she opened up right into, into the morning, could have got in that trade, held on to it, maybe scalped it, or took it up to, to that 442. But it did pull back again to that solid support area at 417. And then she went ahead and bounced up to the previous highs that we had. Not the high highs, which I wanted it to break 468. But it did pull back to that first resistance level of 452 and kind of held right there after hours right now. So I'm going to make the same call as I did yesterday. We might be working in a channel right here. The channel is from 417 all the way up to 468. And only tomorrow can tell, but your solid support is going to be right here at 424 with your resistance breakout at 468 if she decides to go up there. But you have three supports and you have three resistances, and we'll stick it right in the middle for a pivot point. That's right here at 445. That's key, key, key. Q U M U, and then we're going to bring okay. it. We're going to turn the leaf here. Hey. <laughs> oh, that was funny what you said. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So now we're going to talk about a leaf. So you know, a leaf is uh, a Canadian company, by the way, and uh, they had some nice news today. And uh, the news: this company is located in Toronto, and uh, they did mention that uh, they're entering the German medical cannabis market through its joint venture with a German pharmaceutical wholesaler called Acnos Pharma. And together, they're going to purchase Alifia Health Brand of Cannabis Oils to distribute to German pharmacies for a clinical trial usage. And you know what? That is actually very good news. I'm hearing a lot about actually these cannabis oils. I think it's going to be huge uh, in, the, the, in the cannabis sector. Um, you know, people think sometimes cannabis, you know, marijuana, all they think about is like people that smoke marijuana. But what about people that use the cannabis oil? So many, I think, medical wonders in the cannabis oil. Uh, so I think this is going to be a big thing in the coming, you know, in the future with other pharmaceutical companies. But if you take a look at a leaf, my goodness, it had a nice little run today. And uh, it opened up at, you know, 99 cents and it ran all the way up to, I show here, uh, 122.03 was the high of day there. Yep. So, Jim, let's hear about this OTC stock, Alif. I mean, and who knows, maybe one day this will become, it'll get uplisted. I think there's a future here with Alif Health. Well, she took a pretty good beating, that's for sure, in the last three or four months, four months. We had a high up here right around the two bucks and it dropped a hundred percent down here at that dollar support level mm -hmm. and i mean it's just attractive low support anything that, that runs down there by the buck we've been had this on watch for at least a good half a year three quarters of a year when the canadians opened up the medical and re, uh recreational marijuana market i think jim's talking about me guys yeah <laughs> definitely 
so yeah. we, we we've run up to a resistance level here right now you can see right here we had a little consolidated period and then she broke out and ran all the way up to two bucks so i'm gonna i'm looking at the yearly chart and i'm thinking maybe support's going to be right around here right around the 111 112 area so i'm going to pull up the 20 day and see if i can see that on the 20 day i'm just looking at that yep I sure, def, sure enough see it right here at the 112, and I'm going to adjust it, adjust it to about 114. You can see we had a couple bottoms right here, and it ran all the way up to this 135 area, 137. So I'm going to put a little trend line right there. And these, all these yellow lines here are extended from last year. So these are last year's trend lines that I'm, I'm putting on here, and the blue ones are this year's. And I did add this low support down here at 99 cents right under a buck, if I ever see that again. I'll definitely put me an alert in there and see if, and buy it at that level because I think that it would be a bargain for this stock. And Miss Vegas is right about the CBD market and the oils, um, both medical and I also have it in my coffee every once in a while. So, you know, I don't mind drinking it that way either. So we do have low support at 114 and we got right now we're at 122. That's where we closed at 122.80. So the pullback support is going to be at 114, no lower than that. If it does go lower than that, that's going to be a strong buy. Anywhere down here between this 106, well, I got 1012 on here from last year, but I'm adjusted here to 106, 107. Then we have another one right here about 104. And I like that little area right there too. So the resistance is we got a break is the first one at 124, 130. And 137, and you can bring it up here to 141 to that 146 high on the 20 day chart. And let's turn the leaf, and we're going to move on to everybody wants. And I eat one of these once a year, and it's a Big Mac, McDonald's. Oh my gosh. So, you know, McDonald's had a really nice day today, and, you know, I'm really disappointed that I didn't keep an eye on this one. Um, you know, for uh, people to trade it from an options perspective for the day. I mean, we did have an options call out there um, that people are currently holding. And uh, the option call that we have on this one, uh, and thanks to the information I'm getting from uh, my trader friends at Trade Exchange, um, they alerted us on the um, vo unusual volume on the McDonald July 19th expiry for the $200 strike. And those calls were going at the time for $3.20. So it's a $320 investment that you would have had to make to buy that option call. But let me tell you what that's worth today. That is worth today $490. So if you would have invested one contract at $320, uh, you'd be up over, you know, over $150 profit uh, on that one contract. So that was a fabulous call. Thank you so much to my friends at Trade Exchange. I love them. And um, you know what? This is someone I'm going to watch this chart because I miss uh, looking at that today. And uh, I'm going to uh, keep an eye on it tomorrow. But I'm still liking McDonald's very much. Um, if I'm going to look at some option calls, you know what? I might have to go a little bit pricier just because we're going to probably hit the 200 soon. So I need to look at something that's... Uh, you know, something achievable and that has some open interest. So I'll let you guys know uh, tomorrow because I just can't really seem to see anything that's going to be, that's have a lot of open interest. Now, you have to remember, sometimes with options, open interest is key. And honestly, the ones for July are the hottest. So here's what I'm going to tell you guys right now since I'm looking at the option master flow. Um, for the McDonald's options, I will be looking at tomorrow specifically the July 19th expiry and the option call I will look at will be the ones for 210 and 210 strike and those ones are currently closed around $1.47. So I'm going to probably look at those ones. Uh, if you want to roll up a little and get something cheaper for those of you with a smaller account. Um, you may want to get the ones that expires the same, July 19, 2019, and you can get the ones for the 220 strike. So it's, you know, we're talking $220 strike, but, you know, we're not that far away. We're like $20 away, but we're talking July, like two months. 
from now, like more than two months from now. Um, and those ones are around 32 cents. So I think for a small account, that one's probably a better one in terms of the opportunity to buy something cheap. So if you like it and you're interested, do your own due diligence. And uh, certainly if you're not going to trade it, that's okay. Uh, just keep a watch and watch this particular option call grow. So I'm going to make a note of it that um, this is the July 220 strike. And then Jim, let's hear about the chart because I'm bullish on McDonald's. I still like the weekly very much. All right. McDonald's is our kind of place. Hamburgers in the face. <laughs> so we're going to go up here to, we got a, a support line. If I follow the trend on these wicks, right around a little below 196, 182. Or 195, I mean, 190, yeah, 190, 195.82 to 196.12. And I'm going to call that a solid support right there at 196.12 for a pullback. If she decides to pull back, you know, semi a couple bucks, maybe $3. But we closed up here with, a, with an ascending triangle. Right here, ascending one of my favorite patterns at 199. So if we can break that 199, we're going to go up to these other two resistance levels that we have, 199.97 and then 298. So that's a pretty good little $3 bounce right there. If not, she's going to pull back to this low support that I called out here at 196, 196.12, somewhere in that area. And no lower than this lower support down here where this began at, at 193.40. But we're on an upward trend for the past three days. It did have a real nice run last week. As you can see, we ran all the way to 20406. So the momentum's with this trade right now. As you see with the vortex, it's pr pretty wide, which is good, which is positive. And the RSI's up here at a little oversold area, overbought area. So if it does pull back a little bit, maybe look at it right around the 50, 52 area for, for a retracement bounce. And if it does hit the bottom of the VWAP, you see what happens. We hit that bottom right here at that low support on that trend line at 193.40, and she ran up five bucks. So we're starting to consolidate. This little pullback after that huge run was needed. It pulled back for almost two days, consolidated one day, and then we had the, 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 the beautiful bounce on the way up. So this is one I watch every day and keep a good eye on it. I'm going to call that low support right around that 196 area. Second support 197.16 and the first one right here at 198.16 with the two resistance breakouts. And if we can break past that resistance, we're off to, to fill this candle wick right here, which is always a gift. And that's it for the aftermarket report. I personally want to invite you to our, to our um, Twitter page. And Miss Vegas will too. She does a lot of posting in here. You can hit it by what I just did on the on the website, and it takes you right to the play, page. Please hit the follow button, ring that bell for future updates, and and I think um, we do post a lot of alerts in here during the trading day. Plus, on the Sunday we put our aftermarket report stocks in here, which is also a big help. Then you can keep kind of keep a watch on us. And I'm going to go ahead and hand this to Miss Vegas for the final say. Oh, well, thank you. So I just want to say thanks to everyone for listening, watching, subscribing. Please comment below. Uh, we love helping everyone. I know sometimes some of you have messaged to please look into a certain ticker. Uh, you know, we try our best to try to get to so many requests. I even get so many requests on email. So I try to pick the ones that have let the, uh, an opportunity for people to make money on uh, this week. Um, and so I'll, I'll try to engage more of the viewer requests as well. So if you do have one, uh, feel free to comment below and we'll be happy to take a look at it in the video tomorrow. Um, also, I did mention that we are looking to have a traders conference next year, May 2020. If you are interested on in being notified for future updates on that, uh, please message Vegas at ilovestocks.com. That's I-L-U-V stocks.com. And then I can put your name on a list. Um, you'd not be solicited for anything, just so you know. It's just to keep you informed on future updates potentially with regards to the conference in May 2020, which will be held in Orlando, Florida. So stay tuned for that. I also have a couple things I'm working on as well behind the scenes on some tools, trading tools that will help all of you. 
I have a free trading tool that's available out there. I am just going to be arranging a chat with uh, one of the owners of the company uh, just to get a better overview of how to use the tool because I really like what I'm seeing. But I, before I share it with you guys, I just want to know how it works so that I can then do a little video on it and then showcase it to you guys because we really are here to give you guys tools and ideas to help you become more successful and better equipped with your trading. So thank you all so much. Have an amazing night and I look forward to talking to you tomorrow. Thank you so much. Have a great evening. This is the Aftermarket Report with Vegas and Jim. You're welcome to come join us for two weeks free trial in our room and you can register on the website that we have right here under the chat room service. And today's date is May 6, 2019 and we love stocks. Thank you.